please like subscribe to my channel so one thing that i noticed i was looking at my analytics just because i'm being curious i'm just being curious you know so 92.8 percent of the people that view my channel are not subscribed to my channel you can really do me a favor and subscribe so i can get to the thousand subscriber mark so help me get to the thousand subscriber mark i'm really close i got the uh recoil starter pull rope off um i just took each one of my coils and just laid it aside i gotta put that back together i'm gonna do that next i had to make a couple of cables for the starter so i just took a ground went to here i made another hot cable and this is just simply going over to a battery i got some long leads this is going to end up in a sailboat but i just stuck it on this battery just temporarily turn it this thing doesn't hardly take any juice so the starter does turn now i mean i can i can like put it in neutral and So it does start now. So I want to put my coils back together. I want to pop my spark plugs out and put a compressor tester in here. I get out. I've got a thing that can show me spark as well. I'm going to hook that up. So when I do this, I'll look at spark. And then I'll look and see what compression this has on the top cylinder. What I got is I have my spark tester. I set them about a quarter inch, so I got one and two on that lead. And we'll try to look for spark, and then at the same time, I've got I got my compression tester in number one cylinder. And you guys, this is just a Harbor Freight one, and I'm not a fan of it. I think it's you know it's definitely off some, and plus we've got the displacement of the hose. But what I really don't like about it is this quick disconnect because I feel like maybe it might lose some pressure uh, from the quick disconnect. And there's like a little spring and a ball bearing and a couple of little rubber O-rings. And I just don't think they're great. You know, I'm going to have to get another compression tester. I've got a Mercury one, a good one, but the problem is it won't go where the switch box is mounted you can i can't get it in there i'd have to move the switch box and so i think just to get a relative compression reading um i'm gonna do this i could tell by this if each cylinder is a little off just turn it over and see what i get see if i get sparks so We got spark on both cylinders, and this is, see this thing is showing, like, and then it's you can watch it go down, so I know that there's something leaking there. To solve my problem, I loosened up the switch box, moved it over where I could get it out of the way, where I could get my good grit gauge in there, and I just ran my the top cylinder. Again, I kept my spark tester hooked up just so that, uh, you know, I ground out my coils. Yeah, you can see uh, well, we're at about 160 PSI. See how much difference the other gauge? I mean, it's crazy. Uh, but this one's real cool. It's got a little pin on the bottom. And you just, you know, you just touch the pin and boom. Disconnect my battery for on this uh rectifier uh see if i can get my gauge in this bottom one but that's really good news so you can see i what i did was i took my rectifier and i loosened the screws and i was able to move it over out of the way put my gauge in so i got my gauge installed i still have my smart tester just so the coils get grounded out and then i just gotta hook up my battery by the way, when you're doing this, spray some WD-40 in the cylinders. That way they'll pressurize good. 
and it'll give it some lubrication. So I did that in the top solder when I checked it. Then I sprayed some in the bottom solder and checked it. Uh, I didn't spray them both at the same time because if you do that, then you're gonna have you're gonna have WD-40 spraying out this way. By the way, when you're hooking up your battery, always hook up your negative cable first. Then hook up your power cable. You're hot. If you have your positive hooked up, it has nowhere to go to ground. So you don't want to blow a capacitor or or something of that nature. So that's all I need. Now I'll disconnect my battery again. So it's probably hard to see, but we're looking at about 158 so our top one was 160 and our bottom one was at 158 so this is a runner and we got spark and we got good compression